I made something for you. So about four months ago, I made this YouTube video where I told you all that I plan to 4X my ad revenue on YouTube. It has been a long journey, almost as long as it took Tim to win a crown, but we finally did it. In the last four months, I made a lot of changes to this YouTube channel that enabled me to 4X my ad revenue on YouTube. That's super freaking hype, honestly. <laughs> Imagine you just quadrupled your paycheck. Like, now I could just make a video about the things that I did in order to 4X my ad revenue. However, I wanted to do something a little bit more special for you. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I made for you right after this. Own TV is a great resource for overlays, alerts, panels, even emotes for streamers. If you need new graphics for your stream, Owned makes it super easy for you. You don't have to worry about making garbage graphics yourself or trying to fit into a busy commission schedule. Just go to Owned, pick a design, check out, and download your new graphics. It's so easy, even Tim could do it. Boom roasted. <laughs> All right, y'all, are you ready? Ba -ba -ba -ba! <laughs> I created a free case study of exactly everything that I did that worked and didn't work in order to 4X my ad revenue on YouTube. This is really great for those of you who have a YouTube channel that wanna learn how to extract more ad revenue from the platform, but it's also really great for those of you who don't really have a pop-in monetizable YouTube channel yet, and all you wanna do is learn how to best set yourself up so that you can make more money on YouTube in the future. There's two different ways that you can get access to this case study. There's a link down below in case you want to get the study through your email, or you could come into our Discord server, which we have an entire freebie channel full of stuff that you can get for free because it's a freebie channel. <laughs> now, I don't just want to give you links to this free thing because honestly, who freaking cares to watch a YouTube video that's just like, hey, here's a free thing. I want to give you some kind of value while you're actually here. And so what I want to do with the rest of this video is I want to teach you something that is going to help you grow a gaming YouTube channel that I have never shared on this channel before. The strategy actually comes from my partner, Dylan KG's YouTube channel. He has been creating YouTube content consistently over the last four months, just just hit a thousand subscribers, but there's something that I've noticed because of his YouTube channel that I didn't really notice before. In this video, we talked about the viewer experience funnel of your Twitch viewers, but did you know that there's actually a viewer experience funnel for your YouTube channel as well? So it goes like this. Similar to the last funnel, this funnel is broken down into three different sections. And these are the three different types of content that you should be making on your YouTube channel. The top of the funnel is news, the middle of the funnel is tutorials, and the bottom of the funnel is creator-centric content. The news content at the very top of the funnel is meant to get you in front of as many people as possible. See, whenever YouTube changed up their algorithms a couple of years ago, they actually reduce the latency on the algorithm. And what that means is that content gets served out very, very quickly now, as opposed to it getting served pretty freaking slow before. So what this means is that you can create news-based content and get it in front of a ton of people, which you couldn't necessarily do before. What's great about news content is that whenever it comes to gaming, a lot of games have consistent updates and those updates can actually be made into content because people are searching for those updates on Google and video displays in Google search results. This is actually something that has been super successful on Dylan's channel that I've noticed is he's appearing in Google search results, sometimes in the number one spot for specific updates to Dead by Daylight. And that's giving him a ton of traffic, even though his channel is still relatively small. He has 25,000 views on a video with a thousand subscribers. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> So this kind of content allows you to get in front of a lot more people really quickly, but the problem with news-based content is that people are not consistently interested in it. You're only gonna keep getting views for that news YouTube video for a couple of days. This is why it's important that you have content that people are always gonna be interested in and isn't reliant just on the news. 
And this is where tutorials come in. The reason that tutorials are so great is because it's still super helpful content that's interesting for an audience. It's still solving questions that people are searching for, and it's more likely to be something that they're interested in long term instead of a very short period of time. Tutorials are also really easy for you to rank in search. And that means that once again, you can appear in Google search results or you can have your video videos recommended in YouTube. It's also really easy to come up with tutorial content for video games. If you've ever struggled with anything, whether it's a specific level in a game or getting to a specific rank in a game, you can turn all of those struggles into YouTube tutorial videos. For those of you who are working a nine to five job, there's going to be a huge difference for you between news videos and tutorial videos. News videos can be pretty difficult for someone who's working a nine to five to do because your goal with a news video is to be one of the first videos on YouTube. The first videos are going to get the most eyeballs and the most traffic. So you want to have your video up before everyone else, which means that anytime that Dylan sees the DVD tweet tweeter, <laughs> Anytime he sees the DVD Twitter announce that they just had an update, he immediately gets up, goes and makes a video and uploads it. If you're at a job that probably is not going to work for you every time, you'll be able to do those news videos sometimes, but tutorials are probably going to be more helpful for you because they aren't based on you having to create the first video. Now in both news videos and tutorial videos, your goal is to sell people on your personality. This is where creator sent trick videos come in. Now a lot of Twitch streamers are already making these because y'all are taking clips and you're creating highlight videos and you're doing maybe a weekly clip compilation of your biggest moments from the past week of your stream. But if that's all you're creating on your channel, you're missing a ton of opportunity to reach out to people who don't know about you yet because creator centric videos are specifically there for the people who are already sold on you. The goal of creator centric videos is to get people to feel like they're developing a relationship with you, like they know you as a friend. This is essentially there for you to be able to develop trust with the audience that you're creating. Creator centric videos will not get the viewership that news videos and tutorial videos are going to get. Unfortunately, the views on these are going to be really low in comparison to everything else that's made to help other people. But this doesn't mean that the videos are useless. They're there for a very specific reason, and that is to develop that know, like, and trust affinity with you, the YouTube creator. Now, that being said, if you understand that these are going to get lower viewership for you, then it's okay for you to post these on your channel more than likely. However, a lot of YouTube educators will tell you that you shouldn't be posting let's plays, highlights, clip compilations, uh, vlogs, videos about yourself and your life until you have created a pretty good size audience of at least, I think most people say around 100,000 subscribers. So they're not really gonna grow you, but the benefit is that they're super easy to make. And so on those days where Dylan doesn't have a tutorial tutorial or doesn't really have news, what he'll do is he'll just take uh, clips from his stream and he'll just throw them up onto YouTube. They're not going to get quite the views as a tutorial or a news based video will, but he's still creating content consistently and it still generates a little bit of trust with the audience that he's developing over there. When you use this funnel, you'll realize that it essentially fulfills the first step of the funnel that we talked about in the video that I mentioned earlier, which is help content, right? This is all the help content that you should essentially be creating. And something else that you need to know about this funnel is that you need to make sure that each level supports the others. So what do I mean by that? <laughs> In your news videos, you should be looking for opportunities to mention your tutorials. So if a new map comes out on a video game and you make a news video about that, then you can make a tutorial that teaches people how to play a specific character that you think is going to be really strong in that map. And what you're doing here is you're building out more watch time for your YouTube channel as long as people are liking the video that they see that you've made for news and then they're going on to 
watch your other stuff too. In your tutorials, your goal is to sell people on you and your personality so that way they go to the bottom of the funnel which is that creator centric content. Now I've said this in the YouTube videos before but People don't care about you until you show that you care about them first. Which means they're not gonna care about you until you help them a lot. And that's why you have news videos and tutorials there to show that you care about them in their journey and you wanna help them. And that's whenever that help will be reciprocated and they'll get interested in you. So if you're not doing anything for anybody else and you're just creating content expecting people to watch it, they're probably not going to because there's millions of other people that are helpful that they could be watching. Now there are a lot of other nice things that you can do to show your potential audience that you really care about them. In this video, I teach you a strategy that you can steal from Harris Heller from Alpha Gaming that he uses in order to get people super interested in all of his content. And you can use that too, even though you're not as massive as he is. Go and check that one out. I'll see you over there. Bye. Thank you.